Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's continue to talk about graphing by using transformations. So we are starting with the parent function y equals square root of x, and our goal here is to graph this three times square root of x minus two. And because you can see that there are two transformations, we are going to do it step by step. The first one is that we are going to graph the the one with the three in front of the square root of x. So we graph just y equals 3 square root of x without the minus 2 and this is a vertical stretch because this 3 is greater than 1 so what we're going to do is that we are going to change all the y values and we will still use the same x values because that is a vertical transformation so that will only affect the y values and so we are writing down the same x values here for our all the pairs okay and then what happens is that for each x value that we plug into the parent function, we are going to multiply the y value by 3. So we do, we take this y value multiplied by 3, and then we have our new y value. So 0 times 3, we still get 0, okay? And then 1 times 3, we are going to get 3. And then 2 times 3, we're going to get 6. So now we have this, those new key points. And we can actually graph that, and then we have 0, 0, and then this one is 1, 3, so at x equals 1, this has a y value of 1, right? But we are going to triple it, so 1, 2, 3, so we have this point here. This one, um, it goes all the way to 6, but we don't really have that here, so pretend that that one is a 6, right? This is 5, so the new graph is going to be this one. So we have this one is the number 2. So now there is one more step that we need to do, which is to do the vertical uh, shift or translation. Okay, so now we have y equals 3 radical x minus 2. So we are going to shift this whole graph down by two units. And again, we are going to only change the y values. And this time we are subtracting all the y values. We are subtracting um, 2 from all the y values, right? So we are going to subtract 2. So 0 minus 2. What do we get here? We get minus 2. We get negative 2. And then two, uh, 3 minus 2, we get 1. And then 6 minus 2, we are going to get 4. So those are our new key points. The shape is still similar to the parent function, even though it's already being stretched, so it will be different. So now we get those points, and actually you don't have to look at those points, you can actually just do it directly from the graph by moving the whole graph down by two units. So this is one, two, so we move it down. This is one, two, so we have this new point here. This is one, two, so we get this point. And actually you can see that those three key points are really exactly those three key points that we have here. So now, the shape doesn't change from from the uh, from number two so this one is our function this is our final graph okay so that's for the graph and then we still need to find the domain the range the domain is still going to be the same as the parent function so we are going to have zero to infinity as you can see here now what about the range the range is that um, if you look at the graph, it's actually easier. You can actually find it without using uh, the graph, but because we already have the graph, so it's easier to just look at the graph and figure out the range. You can see that the lowest point for this graph is that it will be negative 2, and it's including negative 2 because if you plug in x uh, 0 for the x, then you get negative 2. So we can include the negative 2. And then the highest point, there isn't actually no highest point. The graph will just keep going up forever. So we are still going to go to infinity. Okay, so that is the range. And as you can see that that's uh, how we are doing uh, the graphing by transformation. Okay, so we'll continue to do more examples next time. Thank you for watching. I will see.